were on screen. So that 225,000 people have diabetes here and about 3,000 of those have type 1 diabetes. Under the, uh, these are all under the age of 18. Now type 1 diabetes is not preventable, it is hereditary and we're now going to meet a mother whose three children all have type 1 diabetes but a new insulin pump treatment has transformed their lives. Welcome to Jane, Ben, Emily, May and Harry and also Dr. Stephen O'Riordan. How are you all? Good to see you guys. Yeah. Good to see you Thank all. You. Hello. How are you? Are you waving at yourself, <laughs> Yeah. Yes. This is Harry Bomora. Yeah, and Harry actually wondered today how he's going to fit into the telly, he didn't did. he? That he was did. his biggest yeah. question yeah. about coming on, isn't that? Will you mm -hmm. fit in now? You, you wouldn't did. have a going to get in, weren't you? Mm -hmm. The yeah. one again, yeah. you have to get, get out get of out. it. <laughs> Jane, it's supposed to be an awful shock to you because it's hereditary, but neither you or your, or your husband have diabetes. No, we don't. And we didn't, you know, obviously suspect when Ben was, he was just 22 months old when he was diagnosed, like it was the last thing, you know, that we thought that was wrong to him. Okay. You know, he was... And he started getting very thirsty and yeah, thirsty wanting more water and bottles. Yeah, thirsty and um, losing weight. And he was just drinking everything that he could get his hands mm -hmm. on. So um, I brought him to the doctor and then I brought him to the hospital and the minute they checked him, he was in DKA and Dr. Yeah. Raven will explain. Mm. Because yeah, exactly. yeah. We, 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 yeah. we all have, we, we have babies and yeah. I remember being all at home drinking a lot of water milk and you're thinking, okay, the baby's only dehydrated, so I'll give them more milk. Is that yeah. what you thought in the beginning? Well, you see, I mean, the baby was only six months weeks yeah. old at the time, so, you know, I had like a new baby and I had... You didn't know what you were doing, No, I didn't. No, I didn't have the clue. Yeah, we didn't have We learned very fast. So then, Dr. O'Regan, can you explain to us how come three children have type 1 diabetes and the parents don't? Um, I suppose we would see lots of families with one or two brothers and sisters with diabetes, and that would be mm. common enough, but three is unusual in one family. Right. Mm. And um, is there diabetes somewhere along the way in your family? There no. must be. Or, no, it doesn't no. need to be yeah. like I didn't realise that. It doesn't need to be like that. No, there's probably about a handful of families in the country literally with three children in one family. So it is, it is rare, yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. How, how many injections every day? Uh, we were doing 105 a week. On oh. them all. So it's like 35 a day. 35, 35 a day, yeah. Every day. Every day. So now we're down to the pump and it's just um, an insertion every second day. Mm -hmm. okay. So it's brilliant. T t tell us about this pump and how does it work and how come uh, we, we, don't need to, we don't need to have 105 injections every week anymore? Sure, yeah. So I, we brought one or two here just to show you if you want to have a look, mm -hmm. even yeah. just to here, take like it in your hand. So you know, it's like the pump okay. is like a mini computer, okay? It's the main, main part is this mm -hmm. bit, the computer. Then there's a reservoir here which will be filled with insulin. You fill that very carefully so we don't get any bubbles. Mm -hmm. We don't want any bubbles, sure we don't? No, we don't, no. Mm -hmm. Then it goes down the tubing and this would be the bit that would be attached onto the guys. Usually the top of their hip mm -hmm. or on their tummy. And then when they're having their shower or doing their sport, they disconnect it like that. Mm -hmm. Leave the pump aside, leave it running okay. and then just reconnect mm -hmm. and they're back on. Do but you guys, are you, wearing, are you wearing a pump belt? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Harry will show you his pump. Can you show us? Mm -hmm. Harry, you stand up there. Oh, that look at from that. Batman. Batman. Irish made pump pouches that we got from Elva's pump pouches. Nice. Neat. Mm -hmm. Good boy, show oh, us the best man. Oh, look yeah. at that. And he's got the footballs all over. Yeah. The footballs all, all over. They're different things because Harry and Ben have the same pouches, or pumps, so, you know, mm -hmm. to distinguish between them. How is it attached to the skin, then? So it is a, is a small needle inserts it just under the skin. Right. And they do that every two days. But as Jane was saying, you're going from, like, five to six to eight injections a day to one needle every mm -hmm. two days. And, and, the, and that's the biggest, that's probably the biggest change. every day with them. Yeah. But now they have a wonderful mm -hmm. SNA, Valerie. Valerie. And, uh, yeah, she's wonderful. And, um, the and school she, she had knows been brilliant. what to do and everything. Yeah, yeah, they came to the pump school. The pump school was absolutely brilliant. The, Dr. Reardon and the team in CUH1. That's right, you do. They train yeah. and oh they my need God, to learn. It's unreal. Yeah. Yeah. And um, it's really good. And it's bringing it back up, you know, with the nurses. And it's just really good. Even on, um, I would say, Dr. Reardon, I was reminding him yesterday that it was at Easter and Connor even rang us on Easter Sunday to see how we're getting on. One of the diabetes nurses. That's so Totally just, Connor on his own time now. Yeah. 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 Do you know, it was just really good, like, you know, they're brilliant. Yeah. How is it monitored, as it was, in the beginning when you were injecting the kids, it's all about the fact of your glucose and versus that's the amount of insulin you need. Isn't that the basis yes, yeah, of yeah, it, yeah. really? So you had to ingest all the little, or, sorry, inject the kids. And that must have been very difficult for small children to deal with. It was very difficult, yeah. um, but I, I was saying to the doctor, and they never complained. You know, like they had to be finger pricked yes. every two hours. And like when we were waiting, you know, you have to keep checking them, you know, because they were having little biscuits. And so yeah. these guys yeah, are amazing. Constantly. So in yeah. case checking. I don't get to say it, like they're yeah, remarkable yeah. three children. Um, you know, I've never heard any of the three of them, nor Jane or, or dad, who, yeah. who was here as well, n complain about anything. They get on, they're still doing finger pricks and checking their blood glucose. Mm -hmm probably six to eight times yeah. a day. And they do That's often sore. You do it yourself? Yes. And yeah. they, no bother. They just no get bother. on with it. No it might so take Harry a while to get the blood. <laughs> <laughs> it comes out eventually. Yeah. 
What's it like, Ben? Tell me what you do. Um, you get your little pricker and you prick aside your finger and then you get your glucometer and take the blood and it tells you your reading. Tells yeah. you the number. And what, 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 what number should it be? Around five and eight. Around five and eight. Very good. If it, goes, if it goes over or below that, what, what should you do? And um, you can correct it. You can correct. And how would you correct it? Um, you use your pump. Mm -hmm. And what did you, you press a button on um, it? Um, you bolus normally, but you don't put any food in. You don't put any food. Very in. good. No. Very yeah. good. Yeah. Right. Very good. Exactly mm -hmm. right. Pre oh, literally press, press, pressing yeah. a few buttons. And that's it. Rather than taking out all the equipment, yeah. taking out a pen, drawing it up, yeah. and pressing it in. Yeah. So it's so giving you almost like a hit. Is that it? Yeah. It's yeah. yeah. like wearing your pancreas on the outside of your body. Yeah. Right. Okay. So we would say there's two types of insulin in, you know that normally when you're not on a pump a background or a basal insulin and yeah. then a bolus insulin for the meals and corrections mm -hmm. but they're all included in here but right. rather than taking out the injections they literally have to press a few buttons and no one has to see you either Ben no. they don't you can just go like this in your yeah. pocket and be pressing it there and where you go yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Emily may can I ask you a question food wise you don't eat what other kids eat do you there's lots of things you can't eat yeah yes before I couldn't, but now I can. Now mm. everything's different. Can you eat whatever you want? Yeah. Oh, we have a lovely cake there. Now. You can, mm. I don't know if you can have some of that, can you? We were eyeing it up, weren't we? Were you eyeing it up? Is yeah. there a special diet, though, in general? I mean, you must, do you have to limit the amount of carbohydrates you So take? speaking for Shirley and the dietitians yeah. and the yes, rest of, of the team, <laughs> it's very yeah. important. Uh, I mean, the, the, there's no such thing really anymore as a diabetes diet for uh, children. Uh, yeah. A lot of the diabetes products that are out there are full of fat mm -hmm. with no sugar. Mm -hmm. We don't recommend artificial sweeteners. A normal healthy diet is what these guys should be having. Right. But it, you wouldn't but like a normal full of sugar. Exactly. In it, and they're well, balancing they the insulin against, 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 against the carbohydrates. Yeah, that's what it is. You have to balance it. Yeah. 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 It's, it's still a difficult thing to do every day in your life, in a sense, because, Very. I mean, and having three kids school, is busy enough. Everything. Yes, you know, tell like, us about that. Yeah, um, so, so you have to carbohydrate count. You put in the amount of carbohydrates that you eat into the pump, you see. So when they're doing, when I'm doing up to lunches every morning, I have little labels. So I have to label everything for Valerie, mm -hmm. and um, then she Annie. calculates it out with their help. Yes, yes, Harry, what yes, do you want Harry. to say, hon? You okay, Pet? Uh, do you want to say hello to anybody? <laughs> do you want to say hello to Wave to everybody, friends? look that you have to wave to oh, us you all. have to wave to all. <laughs> and tell them you won't be in school until after St. Patrick's Day. You can tell Dahi to say hello to Breda. Oh, hello, Breda. Yeah. Who's Breda? Breda's the woman who works in our local shop. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Hello, Breda, how are you? Uh, you're welcome and to the Tanisha. And everybody in Clare Han, you know, you have to say hello to everybody. Oh, and Clare Han. And Clare, and Clare, and Clare, and Clare National School. Yeah. Okay. Dr. Reardon, these pumps were only available in Dublin at one stage. Now they're available more widely around the country. And yeah. Just tell me, what type of, are all kids in still are kids that need insulin? Uh, are, are they all suitable, or is there a criteria? No, I think um, as, as we've found out from this family, they're they're fantastic gang altogether. And part of our job uh, as a team which is consultants, diabetes nurses, dietitians together, is to meet a family, get to know them and see, are they suitable? So I would say probably the biggest message, this is a fantastic positive story, right. mm -hmm. but the pump isn't necessarily for everyone. And I'd say in most clinics around the country, maybe 25% of children will end up on pumps, so one in four. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And it was so one extremely four. difficult at the start. Yeah. When, mm -hmm. we, when we finished pump school, the first day we had um, and 50 lows, you know, when your blood sugar goes low and you have yeah. to drink it and they That's kept right, continuously going low and low and it went on for like maybe mm -hmm. like uh, what, what a if week, it goes really low, maybe two, they three weeks. Thank God, no. They could. But we've had um, episodes that Most of the time when we're, when we're teaching them, whether it's pump school or any mm -hmm. format of starting insulin pumps, mm -hmm. you'll be, have very strict protocols when you're low, when you're high and what you do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the great thing about these pumps as well, they'll have a wizard and a wizard does all the calculations for mm -hmm. them. So they'll put in, my carbs are 30 grams, he's having yeah. a snack, he'll put in, his blood sugar is 5.6, and it does all the calculations. Okay. It works out how much you have to do. And it, is there a beeper on it if it goes too no. low or too high? Um, on some of the pumps, there's an extra sensor you'll wear mm -hmm. on another site, and that will measure the blood glucose all the time. This is only an insulin delivery system. Mm -hmm. So it's important to say, some people think this is the solution to everything. No, this doesn't not. take no. your diabetes away. No. no. This is not magic. You still have to do the hard work. Mm -hmm. And what's great about this family, they have really done the hard work. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. to, to put it mildly, like, unbelievable amount of work. Ben's got to do a, a bit more hard work now, because you're a great baker, I believe, are you? Yes. What type of stuff do you bake? I like cooking fries and buns. <laughs> <laughs> Here we is said, ben, we said we wouldn't mention the big fry yeah, this morning. <laughs> well, you know what, Ben? Dr. Raiden, thank you very much oh, for coming in. Jane yeah. and everyone. So but welcome. Ben, we might have a little surprise for you now in a mm -hmm. little minute as a mm -hmm. treat for you today. Oh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I think, I, I think I have enough work done today. I have to sit back here. Actually, I want to be served. I actually...
You better make hey. something really nice for okay. me then. Do you want to come with me? Yeah. Okay, okay. we'll go over go. to Wade mm -hmm. in the kitchen. Oh, here's the pump. I better give that back to you. Yeah. Yeah. Come on over this way, and we'll go to the kitchen, and we will have our chef over here is Wade Murphy. Now, do you want to sit on?